Okay, well hey, we're back here for Capstone 3, and what we're wanting to talk about is, uh, you know, human relations and interviewing, which is going to be your next area of interest uh, as far as things to work on. Here once again, uh, we haven't really covered um, a lot of these topics uh, in a particular course uh, at Ivy Tech in the paralegal program, but uh, we draw a lot of this from other uh, courses that you've had and from uh, experience and things like that. Well, very important when you're involved in human relations and interviewing uh, to always be objective okay be objective what do we mean by being objective well what we're trying to say is uh, in the nature of things you know uh, someone is a minority uh, you're white and someone comes in your office uh, maybe you were raised in a small town and so forth uh, this is just the story of my life basically uh, but you cannot, you've got to set things on the shelf in terms of what your grandpa told you or whatever, you know, and act as a grown-up uh, human being and treat uh, everybody with respect, okay? So we need to be very respectful, okay? So these are important early considerations, okay? Uh, another thing is in terms of uh, interviewing, you need to always be Thorough, okay, thorough. So what you want to do when you're doing an interview, when you know you've got like an interview tomorrow on, let's say, a personal injury case or let's say a bankruptcy or a divorce or anything like that, prepare, prepare. Always come to the meeting prepared, okay? So always be prepared like a Boy Scout, okay? Uh, or as the Coast Guard says, semper paratus, which means you know, always ready, okay? So you go in these meetings, you sit down, you're talking to them, you know, be sure that you hit all the important points. And if you're not real sure, you know, confer, you know, with your colleagues, okay? So that you know, uh, you know, that, hey, I'm covering all the areas uh, that I need to. Also, you know, if you have a direct supervisor, uh, find out what the supervisor's looking for, okay? So don't go in blind uh, and just do everything uh, by the seat of your pants or off the cuff or, you know, just shotgun, just blast on the wall type thing and hope that you hit something, you know. You want to always be prepared when you're doing these interviews. So very important, uh, respectful, uh, adult human uh, conversation, from our last chapter, communicate, try to work on your communication skills. Uh, don't ever be uh, negative, be positive. Try to make a good impression. You remember always, as I said before, you're the face of your corporation or your law firm, okay? So you're the face of the law firm. Um, you know, you're going to talk to these people. So they're going to think of you when they think of that firm. So very important that you make a good impression. Okay, so that's an important part of this uh, in terms of interviewing skills. Uh, it's also interesting when I've done, you know, like interviewing uh, in the past with people uh, that sometimes uh, if you ask questions a couple different ways, uh, same question, uh, different wording, uh, and you get a different answer, you know, what does that mean? I mean, you know, uh, is the person lying? Are they, are they lying? Are you going to confront that person right there and say, well, no, not if that's your client, okay? But these are things that you need to know. You need to kind of test them in a kind, sympathetic way. Uh, in fact, I've had opposing counsel depose my client and just completely disassemble my case and the client doesn't even know it. My, he was a nice man when they're leaving. I'm like, you don't even know it, but he just destroyed your case. But he was very nice about it. Well, it's better that we find that out in our law firm before you let this person go to the walls with the opposing attorney and have them do that. So a lot of times initial interviews are going to be handled by um, 
paralegals. Uh, they're going to prepare the initial file uh, and then uh, lawyers may say, well, we need to know something more, so you're going to have to ask them to come back in. So you always want to uh, make sure that when you're uh, finishing up your interview that, you know, you don't leave an end to it. You don't say, well, okay, that's all we need. Uh, you should leave it more like, well, hey, it will meet, we'll go over this, and then we'll probably want to get back with you and ask you some more questions. So make sure, you know, that you're clear that there's going to be a continuing part to this. This is not... Uh, uh, one-time type meeting it's a never-ending story where you're going to get together uh, time and time again okay well those are important points we want to cover so uh, try to you know digest that here again take your quizzes as, multi as many times as you want and then also be sure to post in your discussion board at least two times hopefully two three times where uh, you make a major post and then some minor comments on some fellow students. That's why we call it a discussion. Okay, well, get uh, cracking on it. Let me know, uh, and, uh, you know, you can always contact me. Um, and, you know, I'm always available. And uh, you, you have messaging capability, but, you know, we don't use that uh, in, in the course. But if you want to just, you know, email me directly, this is my personal email and then there's email within the course. So we don't use the messaging, we use emails uh, in my courses, okay? So be sure to get a hold of me if you run into any problems, you can use either account, the one that's mentioned in the Blackboard or the one that uh, I just put up on the board, either way. So feel free to contact me with any questions. Thanks, and we'll be in touch with something new.